Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and the last video on the little Volvo 2016 Volvo V40. We've had this one sat around for quite a while, haven't we? And it was one that come through a friend of mine. It was his auntie's car. They had an accident. They didn't. It wasn't recorded, but it's turned out it was very, very difficult to get the bits for. We're still waiting. Liam's coming to do a windscreen for it. The wheels need a refurb but the car is back from paint and Chris saved us a whole load of money by repairing that bonnet. He is actually cracking on in there. We actually bought a bumper that was complete for this car because we just couldn't get the bits for it. So we got the bumper down there and we're just using all of the parts out of this bumper. Now there's our original bumper. Still quite a lot of the parts are okay. Side light, a lot of the gubbins inside here is all okay. But this side obviously was destroyed and we needed the main grill, the lower grill. And we've got all of that in that other actual bumper. Shame really we didn't get that bumper before you made all the repairs on that one because it was awful. But Chris is lighting, uh, cleaning up those lights, cracking on with those, getting that all built back up with all of this stuff. He stripped it as a procedure to get it out. So it'll be the reverse to put it back in. We're going to leave him to crack on with that, unless he needs our help with anything. No, I think we're good. Okay, mate. And I'm going to bring the car in, get it on the ramp, get the wheels off, get it over to Smarts, get them re refurbed, and pick one of our other cars up that's over there ready to come back. Of course, all self-explanatory here, building up and taking apart a front bumper, but Chris put so much work into the front bumper on this car, there was no way I was going to start pushing in the grills and marking it. We know what happened last time I did the Audi TT one. Bit of a nightmare. No, all jokes aside, he's cracked on with it. I'm actually out, and he's got both bumpers side by side, removing everything from one and laying it out ready to push in to that new bumper. Very, very nice to see this one back together. Lots and lots of little bolts and nuts all cleared up now, all back in their right locations. The horns on both sides, this side and this side, this little handle. Of course, that, was, uh, that, that catches and holds the bonnet. And last minute, we couldn't quite work out where that went until you looked in there and see the two bolt holes. But Chris managed to nail that front bumper. It seems like there is quite a lot to it. But he's got it all in there. Everything's plugged in, so I think we're ready to actually hang it on the car, plug it in, and uh, finally see what it looks like all done. And hopefully all the lights on the dashboard go out as well because it has got a lot of pedestrian protection lights on. Let's give it a go. I always say it, this is the exciting part. When you put the front bumper on the car and it really does bring the whole of the front of the car together. Everything all clipped in, lovely, all lined up, absolutely perfect. Bit of messing around here with the airbox. No gapping up needed. It's all absolutely bang on and I think we're ready for the wheels. Front bumper all completely fitted. Everything is working exactly as it should. And believe it or not, just with that front bumper plugged in and the bit of wiring, it's turned a lot of lights off the dashboard that was actually on. There were so many lights up there that was on and now they've gone off. Wheel splash, that's back in there. Everything is back on. Number plate. Chris has just removed the wiper blades because Liam is on his way to do the windscreen. Such a shame on this one. Forgot all about it. It has got that crack right through there. And I bet that was caused by the airbag. And you can see that actual dust inside there. That is airbag dust. That is what comes out when the airbags explode. Probably shouldn't touch that. So I will go and wash my hands. But I think we're pretty much there with it. Get Liam to fit the windscreen. The wheels are at JW Smarts. There was only two of them. Had a few marks. And Chris said, what a shame, Rob. Let's just get them done. And once we did take them off, I noticed one of the tyres was toast as well. So the wheels are getting done. It's going to have a nice new tyre. I guess we'll let him fit that windscreen. And then we'll pick up once, he, uh, once the wheels come back, get them fitted, and hopefully get this one nipped in the bud. Can you absolutely believe this man has turned up in December wearing a pair of shorts? 
good old Liam. You can always rely on him to arrive in style, arrive with a pair of shorts. Um, guys, straightforward here. Cut out the old windscreen and glued in the new windscreen. Chris had already stripped out the scuttle panel wipers, just making life really easy for him. So all he had to do was cut it out, get the glue in there, clean up and get the new one fitted. And Chris cracked straight on with getting the scuttle panel and the wipers back on the car. I think I'll say it before I know one of you guys is going to say it. Yes, Liam really still is wearing shorts in December. <laughs> it's cra absolutely crazy. I don't know if Stephen had his shorts on. But that's the windscreen all done. And I've just had the phone call that the wheels are now done as well. Uh, I think we're going to need a couple of tyres, but the wheels are ready to collect. So let's head over to Smarts, pick the wheels up, and hopefully get this one off the ramp. Because we've had it sat on here a couple of days and... Uh, we got another one waiting to come in and work on. It's a bit cold to work out. And it is a bit cold to work out there today. It's awful. Right, let's crack on. So new wheels on, just going around talking them up. They are the original wheels, of course, but they've been refurbed. On with them side skirts, all very, very easy to side skirts. There's only a couple of screws in each end and everything that holds it on along the front and under the bottom is all just push clips. So it all went okay. Little top up there on the washer fluid, little top up there with some antifreeze and I think we're good to go. Usual, the wheels have come out cracking at smarts and I do I know I never really put a link in the description anyone can google them but I did just say like how busy are you on the wheels and they said well we're always busy I said can we have a bit of a discount code people always mention it so I'm going to put their link in the description which is just their phone number and when you ring up you say SRUK sent us and guys they'll hook you up with a nice little discount check those wheels out now Good shout there, Chris. Yeah. Two of them were a bit scabby and he went, oh, Rob, really, they want doing. We know the rest of this car is going to want a polish and a clean and it does need two new front tyres because they're right on the limit and one of them's got a bulge in it. But this little car, I think we're coming to the end with it. Chris is just putting the passenger side side skirt on. We've got to move this latch in ever so slightly on this door because it's got too much play in it. You can see it's too far away. And then take it over, get a couple of tyres put on it. MOT. Oh, actually, this car needs everything, doesn't it? Tracking, balance it. No, balancing's done, but they're going to put tyres. What I have to do is leave the MOT to another day. Sorry, yeah, I haven't got your because, mic on. Because they um, are busy, aren't they? They are very busy. There's a couple of people off sick. Three people off sick, so, yeah. We're, we're probably... I'll come this side, Chris, because I'm... We can still wrap the video up and crunch the numbers, yeah. can't we? But, I mean, it might not have a... Because I know a few people like to check, don't they? Yeah, they do. It and is MOT it is till January. MOT, that's yeah. right. So that but, might, might be a next week job for you. Yeah. Doing something else. Yeah, definitely. Let's get that side skirt on there and actually get this one out on the road for the first time since we bought it. And I guess I'll get it over, get some tyres fitted on it and just keep going as long as I can and get as much of it done as I can before, well, before this video goes out, I guess. But I think, like Chris said, probably last thing is going to be the MOT and we can always whip that over to no pass, no pay. So let's see how we get on. So like with any vehicle we buy, we always do our checks and due diligence. And first off, using car vertical so you can see i'll punch the chassis number in on this one and i've actually redone it again so that it is up to date now we know from buying this one the insurance rejected the claim so theft okay odometer okay financial and legal okay and damaged okay i know some of you are going to say well it don't really show it and yes you have got to trust that the person that we're going to sell it to is going to say it has previously been damaged now it has been repaired properly and i'm still quietly confident if the airbags didn't go they would have actually repaired this one through the insurance so last known mileage 98,907 eight mileage records found so there'll be service inputs or various MOTs that it's had timeline so if we click straight on to timeline and it comes up with 10 records found and when you do go through timeline you can see the manufacturer's date how many ownership changes it's had how many mot's it's failed how many inspections and it will tell you all of the advisories and all of the failures you can see there failed a technical inspection and it actually tells you the reasons why it failed 
here is an example of a report and it does show you clearly there is an issue there with odometer highlighted in amber and financial and legal highlighted in amber and also damaged as well if we click on damaged at the top of the check it actually comes up there with the pictures that was listed with this car when it was actually for sale at an auction guys for your must do check use the link in the description where you'll automatically get your discount when you click on it or you can use the code up on screen now from any browser we've had two nice new tires and uh balance we're going to take it around have the tracking done now but when luke just did the ticket he said uh this <laughs> this car used to come here and get looked after the previous owner used to bring this car here so how funny is that small world isn't it but two nice new tyres on there we'll get it round get some tracking done and then um, I think head back to the yard and go through the numbers there's not really a lot else to do I am going to actually ring around try and get it booked in somewhere for an MOT it runs out in January so I can always do it next week or even the week after but as soon as it's MOT and I've run around in it we can put it up for sale and let it go Let's see how we get on guys I've come the old way look the bridge normally we come over the big flyover over there but i decided to come back this way nice slow run back and the bridge is up like normally would be up there where that lorry is and we got to wait till this boat comes through the bridge and then they'll lower the bridge back down hear people in the background moaning everyone moans this bridge has been here for donkey's years it's always been the same if you choose to go this way you've got to expect it but that boat will go through but they'll lower the bridge down and then we can uh, carry on our journey they're all out in the rain on the front of it today right and of course uh, a tour on the sheppy was well understaffed and he said rob well, i don't know how long you're going to wait for your trekking could be like a couple of hours so he just said to bring it over to the boys in Sittingbourne. They've just sorted it out for me. So I think round to the car wash, get this cleaned and then back to the yard. As you know, normally I'm all four standing over by them yellow railings, holding the phone there and time lapsing these guys washing the car. But it is far too cold out there today. So I think I'll just be sitting in here while they give it a wash. Nearly done. Straight back to the yard. We can do the numbers. So another one gonna want them finishing little touches done inside the workshop so a good little hand polish just to blend everything in but another one turned around and done in fact i say turned around and done like this was quick it's actually been sat around for a long long time now and that was because it is a 16 plate 65 but the bits were very expensive and we just thought do you know what it's not going to decrease in value we just picked the bits up as and when we could for it and eventually we got all the bits and it is now done just had it valeted inside only just a, a mini valet but look how much better that looks in there it drives lovely now all very very nice but loads and loads of little scratches all around the handles all will come off very very easily bit of condensation there because it is cold but let's go and crunch the numbers there's nothing else to do and i think after a couple of days of running around in this it's going to be ready to go up for sale as well let's go and see what it owes us take two chris take two we've just recorded this and, and it was our best ever it was <laughs> and uh the oh, sound just stopped halfway yeah, through so yeah. we're having to do this again so you might see a stop and then pick up just because i want to check that it's actually working okay so ready when you are mate yes. you wrote it so you I might as well read it probably out probably best i can read my own writing then you just shout the numbers out yeah yeah we are sitting at the uh, hottest seat in the house we are sitting mm. by this fire it's yeah. freezing today it is, yeah it's getting late now it is yeah so purchase price three thousand pounds now i'll be the first to admit i think i paid over the top for that car it come from a friend he mentioned it it was unrecorded and i kind of got caught up in the moment and well, it's not that bad 
So I did give three thousand pounds for it. Then we got airbag kit from the Volvo Saab Breakers, four hundred and thirty-two pound. I mean, that sounds like a bit of an odd number. That is including the bat, isn't it? Bat and delivery, yeah. Yeah. So then that kit didn't come with curtain airbags. So no. So we've got a curtain airbag from eBay, forty quid. Then we've got a bonnet hinge. £40. Pound. I think mean, that was also eBay, wasn't it? Yes. And then a second curtain airbag. £60. Pound. So then we've got front panel, rad support and air guides. Again, that's come from the same place as the airbag kit. Hasn't yeah, it? I think we've spent the majority of our money yeah. at that Volvo yeah. Saab Breakers because that was 430 as well. Let me just check that, Chris. Yeah, uh, next, we've got the stop-start battery. That's the little tiny one. I'm and really large, and I think he done this, I bought the cage and he threw the battery in with it. Yeah. 58 pound. Uh, plastic ECU box. That's actually ginormous. Yeah. It's got a lot inside it. Again, that's under the wheel arch. Under the it? wheel arch, yeah, 30 pounds. Then we've got chassis cut, which actually came pounds. with a lot more than we needed. Yeah, you only used the yeah, end of it, right. didn't you? Yeah. 100 pounds. And then we've got front bumper. Now, front bumper, we got 250 here. We actually got the front bumper that Chris repaired for free, but we bought a bumper for 250 that was complete. And that had every single yeah, part light, in it. Lights, grills. Lights, grills, everything. And it's kitted out our bumper. So we paid 250 for that, but we are left with a good bumper skin yeah. and a couple of lights, yeah. which I'm sure we can recoup sort of 100, 120 yeah. quid yeah. back for. So 250. Uh, then we've got crash bar. 94 pounds, that was on eBay. Yeah, front wing. 140 pound, and that was the cheapest I around. I think it had a little bit of damage as well, didn't it? I remember. I think we rang up for something else, and it was, uh, I, I said who we was, and he was like, oh, I can look after you guys. And That's right. It was actually 200 quid, he it did was. it for 140. Was, yes. Uh, headlight. The headlight come from Eddie, that was free of charge, and that was actually, had a bit of fire damage, it was a bit melted on the front. I don't know if it was that or whether someone had, um, I think someone had caught it with a DA or something. Right. And it was a bit foggy. So but you flattened it off I and did. spun that I one did, up. Yeah. Uh, wheel splash. 40 pounds. Uh, paint and materials, now this is for the work I did, which is bonnet repair, bumper repair. Sealer. Uh, we uh, we got some base coat and painted the chassis leg and the you did. Crash bar. You did. So that that was all, all that that I. One hundred and twenty pound paint and sundries for us. Uh, wheel re refurb, four wheel wheel refurbs. That is. I mean, again, we probably could have not had this done, but it just let the car down. Yeah. Two hundred and eighty pound. Uh, tracking forty pound. AC regas. Got lucky there because it's the old stuff. Fifty pound. Uh, two new tyres on the front. Hundred pounds. Uh, windscreen. Two hundred pounds. Liam really. Uh, I think he's done that at cost price for yeah, us because yeah. they wasn't cheap. No, them windscreens. No, no. And then we've got paint shop. Um, that was loot from Maystone Body and yeah. Paint. Four fifty. And then there's one thing that's not on there yet, which is because it's not been done yet. It's the MOT. We spoke about it. Earlier, yeah. And that's going to be next week. Yeah. So we'll add that on there. And that gives us a grand total of. Five thousand nine hundred and fifty-four pound. It's not my greatest moment, definitely <laughs> not. Yeah, it's come out a few quid that one, hasn't it? You can't, you can't buy a car without keys, get a key cut, and earn five grand out of every car. No, be nice, but you can't. You can't do it. You can't do. You can't take do. good with a bad. You don't do, you? don't you? Um, and we've said it before, haven't we? They're all a gamble. A gamble you're yeah, you're buying an unknown. You don't yeah. know what you're going to find. So. Anyway, we're going to ask for that car. £6,500. Which is cheap. It's it's less than trade money, isn't it? It is less than trade so, money. Which we always say, we try and be trade or, or trade money. Trade or money less. or less. Um, and that's going to return us a profit of... Oh dear. £546. Now, oh, that car, six and a half... I know some of you are going to argue you could ask more. The one I've just compared that with was actually eight and a half, but we don't care what it says when you check it, that it's unrecorded. No. That car has been involved in an accident, it's been repaired, and that is what we sell. We yeah. sell repaired cars at a discounted yeah. price. Yeah. And 
I know that the next person to sell it might not tell the people, but we put it out there on the World Wide Web. Yeah, Everyone can see. Do any more, we can't we? do any more. No. The reg is on there. I'm just going to stop you there, Rob, because I'm just going to do a little bit of calculating. Because people always ask about this. Right. And right, I'm going to. This is a bit of an estimate. I think we've made about £1.50 an hour there. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so, Wait, the thing is. A lot of people always say, oh, you, you, what, what does the hours come to? What does, if you add it up, £50 an hour for working this many hours? Don't, it, it doesn't make any difference no, to us, does it? No, it doesn't make any difference. We've said it from day dot. We do not work like that. No. I know every, a lot of people can't get their head around it, but if we've still got the lights on and we're in front at the end of the month, that's, right. that's how we work. Yeah. And, I mean, We've had a really, really good year this year. Yeah, pretty much everything we, we've done has been quite a good result. Yeah. Um, I mean, the video coming after this one, I'm not going to mention what it is, but I think we rang the bell when we bought that car. Yeah, yeah. We've, had, we've had some good touches. Yeah, we? we've had some real good wine. ones, it's like the Evoque. Wine. So, yeah. yeah, unfortunately, it's not... I mean, it, it's, it's, not it's, a almost, it's, it's not a loss. loss. It's not a loss. It's no. 500 and... Um, we've, got, we've got to knock the MOT out of that. Yeah. 540. Well, has up. it got much fuel in it? Yeah, nearly a full tank. Oh, so you're all right there. So yeah, we're going to knock 40 quid we're off. We're going to end up with 500 quid profit. You're not going to break any records with it, but yeah. it's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah. They're all a gamble. Yeah. That is the end of today's video and the end of the series on the Volvo. And quite a lot of you didn't quite like the Volvos <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we can tell from our end. But it's also, we had... In four years, I don't think we've had a Volvo. Ever. And then three came along. They all arrived, didn't they? At the same time. They all just we arrived. Always say we only buy what we get what offered. Comes and available, what, yeah. Or what we think there's a, a, a decent return on, so. Yeah, and it's go. like black follows us. Black cars follow us. We yeah. always seem to buy a black car. No, no. And I still say, taking a thumbnail shot in the workshop of a black car Never yeah, look, you can no. never get it any good. No, no, We've tried right. everything, we cannot get it any good. No. If we do one, all you ever see is the bright yellow jig yeah, or, the, yeah. or the blue Everything ram. In the background. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Guys, that is going to be yeah, the end of today's video and the end of the series. As usual, if you did enjoy it, hit that thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Follow us personally on Instagram. If you want to buy a car, sell a car, you can follow us on Instagram. Reach out to us, Salvage Rebuilds. Chris has got his own little private one where he puts pretty much anything on there if you want to pry into his personal life. Oh, don't forget. Uh, Selby Dream Build Chris. Thank you, months. everyone. Yeah, for the, yeah. we didn't even mention it. No. Last year, a lot of people said, oh, how can I send you a Christmas card? And we said, look, don't worry about it. And you started this little... Yeah, so, time. well, it was actually one of our subscribers uh, recommended it. Didn't yeah, I? And said, like, why um, don't you set this up? I'd like to buy you some coffees. Yeah. So, so we, we started putting a link in the description and it went... You know, really well last yeah, year. Yeah, it did. Everyone but, buying us a coffee. even asking, people have started... Started buying them this month. Yeah, so, yeah, that's so really thank fine. you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. We'll leave it there. We'll see you all very, very soon in the next one. Hey, like Tony Blackburn and his I jokes. I do. So I've got one for you. Go on. Lady walks into a pet shop. They've got three parrots for sale. Right. One's 180 quid, one's 150. The other one's a tenner. The lady said, why is that parrot a tenner? He said, I ain't going to lie to you, love. He spent his whole life in a brothel. She went, oh, that'd be a laugh at parrot. I'll have that for a tenner. Oh, she takes his parrot home. Parrot says, oh, new brothel, new brothel. She laughs about it. Her daughter's come home. The parrot says, oh, new workers, new workers. <laughs> they sit down, they laugh about it. The husband walks in. The parrot says, Keith, long time no see. <laughs>